Sometimes I would like to call a function and be able to send it some information from main. Since we said that variables inside main would have local scope and the function wouldn't have access to it, the way we get around that is by passing them as parameters. So let me make a little function called drawbar. And all drawbar does is it takes an amount, so let's call that length, and it takes a symbol and it's going to write that many of the symbol on the screen. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to loop from 0 up to the length that is specified. And I am going to output the mark. And then when I'm done, I'm going to drop myself down to the next line. So I've got my return type void again. I've got my function name. and But now I'm adding stuff inside the parentheses. When I write these here, these are called formal parameters. And what I have to do is say what type each one has, and I have to suggest um, a name for an alias for the parameter for when I'm inside this function. I can list as many of these as I want. Um, I just have to separate each one with a comma, and I do have to list the type of each one. So if I want to call this from main, I can just say its name, and I have two options. I can just give it literal values, because these guys will take in values and use them, or I can use variables. So if I just do it with literal values, I can say, okay, make me a bar that's 10 things long, and let's draw it out of um, ampersands. Why not? All right, so when I run this guy, what I'm going to get on the screen is 10 ampersands. There they are. My function did that for me. And I sent the information from main to this function, and the function used it. Let me show you how um, you can have a variable and pass that. Now, the variables don't have to match in name, so I can make this called num. And let's say I'm equaling it, uh, setting it equal to 5. Let's make a char m. We'll make it equal to, let's do a percent sign this time. And what I can do is when I call draw bar, I can ha hand it the two variables, num and m. When I play this, it will use their values inside the function. So when I run this, now I get five ampersands on the screen. Um, when I pass a value to a function like this, and I've written it just like this, this is called passing by value. Um, and there's something that you should know about it, and that's that if I pass by value, should I inside this switch the, the value? So notice that num down here is 5. Let me just say that length is holding the place of num. I'm going to set it equal to 10. I want to show you something. If I output before drawbar num, call drawbar, which should set this guy to 10, and then after drawbar print num again, I want you to see what happens to the value. Play it. Five, and then my percent signs, and then five. So what you should notice is that if I make changes to this uh, this parameter inside the function, when I come back to main, those changes have been discarded. They haven't saved. So if I have a variable that I'm sending in, even if this guy modifies it internally, um, it throws away the value when it comes back. It's, it, this is basically a copy of the original. It's not the real one. So if I pass by value, then when I'm back in main, my value in my variable hasn't actually been changed at all. And I have to keep that in mind.